welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my January favorites. I'm so excited. I have quite a bit of products here, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So I've been really into skincare lately, like really obsessing over them actually. I've been trying out a ton of different things. And these three items I'm going to share with you, I've actually been using for about two months now. So these first two items are from Lancome. It's from the same line as the Energy TV line. And this is the foam cleanser and I use this for the daytime. I have two other cleansers, the Polish Choice and the Murad. I feel like those are a little bit more... I mean, they're gentle, but not as gentle. So I don't really want to use those for like daytime and nighttime, you know? So those I use for nighttime. This is the one that I use for daytime. It's just a little bit more gentle and I like it. Um, this is just what it looks like. It comes out clear and everything and... I love it. It's super, super gentle. It makes my skin feel nice and like squeaky clean afterwards and it smells really good. And this is the smoothing and plumping water infused cream. It feels amazing on the skin, you guys. Like I'm telling you, this is fantastic. I use this for daytime and nighttime. It just comes in a tube like this. I do have a, another cream for specifically for nighttime. It's like a gel and oil type of thing. But sometimes I feel like that one is a little bit too heavy for me. So I just go ahead and use this. And it feels so good. It gives my face just enough moisture. And my skin feels nice and supple. And it's just amazing, you guys. It's like putting a cloud on your face. I don't know. It feels so, so, so good. So I've been really enjoying this. And then I have here Bye Bye Lines from It Cosmetics. This is a serum. It's the Advanced Anti-Aging Wrinkle Smoothing Miracle Concentrate Serum. I don't use this on my face, but I do use it on my neck. I feel like, I don't know, I, I see lines on my neck and it kind of scares me. Like I don't want it to be like extreme wrinkles or anything. So I want to prevent it from getting bad, if you know what I mean. So. I use this on my neck and so far so good. I like it. It smells good. It doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that. So that is that. It just comes in like a cute little bottle. It's like a pump and everything. Okay, and then I have here one primer that I've been really enjoying. I don't wear this on the days when I know my makeup have to stay on longer than like four hours or something. Just because this isn't really oil free. I don't think it claims to be oil free. But yeah, I definitely don't think it is. Um, I wear this only when I know I only need my makeup to last like maybe four to five hours. I do like it. It makes my skin feel nice and smooth. And you know, my makeup goes on very nicely. It looks really good with it on. Um, but really, this doesn't keep me oil-free all day long. So yeah, but I do enjoy it still. Um, it is the YSL Tisha Claw Blur Primer. I'm not even sure if I mentioned the name, but it's just like a clear you know, silicone primer and it has little bits of gold flakes in there. Okay, I have here three foundations because I've just been playing around with them and I keep switching on and off these three. So this first one is from Lancome. It's the Tintadol Ultra 24 hour foundation. It, I don't think it lasts 24 hours. I really don't. I do love it, but yeah, I definitely have to blot with this. Um, it looks good on, it looks very natural, gives me really good coverage. I, I do recommend it, it's really, really good, but I still find myself having to blot with this. I don't think it's 24 hours. <laughs> um, and then this one is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. It is what I have on right now. I really love this. I think it looks good on. Um, this lasts all day long. It's oil-free as well. So a little bit of this goes a very long way. I think it's great. Very full coverage. Okay, and then this one I love, 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 love. It's the Dior Forever um, Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect with Sunscreen. It has SPF 35 um, Shine Control. It's really, 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 really good. Um, this one's probably my favorite out of the three. I guess don't wear this as much just because I feel like I got the wrong color. I don't know, like I've worn it, it looks good, but sometimes I feel like it's a little too pink and too dark. So I have to probably get a different shade, but I mean, I can still work with this one, but it's really good. You don't even really have to set this one. It just kind of dries and looks natural and I love it. It looks really good on the skin. Next, I have these guys from Hourglass. Now, I've had these for a few years now and I've just been reaching out to them like more so than ever. So this one is the powder palette. This has dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. 
Um, I used all three of them and they're great. Uh, this one in the middle I use more for a highlight. I have it on right now. This is Dim Light. I can actually wear that as a powder, like setting my makeup if I want to. The Radiant Light I like to wear either as a highlight or just like to slightly bronze up my face or add it with the bronzer. It just It looks really good on. So I love that. And this is the blush palette. This has uh, luminous flush, incandescent electra, and mood exposure. Mood exposure is my all-time favorite right here. I have this one on my face right now, incandescent electra. Um, luminous flush is a beautiful kind of like pinky color. This one is more peach. But yeah, I love this palette. It's definitely a go-to like whenever I don't know what to wear. Hourglass it is. Okay, I have here lashes. These are from Salon Perfect. Number 614. It is one of my favorites of all time. It's so nice and wispy. Really reminds me of lash extensions. And I actually do get questions or compliments whenever I wear these out. Um, you know, when I'm paying at a cash register, they're always like, are you wearing extensions? And I'm like, no, they're falsies. And this is it all the time, you guys, all the time. They have a thin band, which makes it look very natural. And again, they're just so nice and wispy. Like, look at that. They're so pretty and just looks so natural on. I do have it on right now, if you're wondering. Okay, I have here the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer. This is the Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer. Um, I didn't think I would like this because, I mean, look at that. It looks shimmery, right? But, oh my gosh, it looks so good on. Very natural on the face. I have it on right now. I use this to bronze up my face. Kind of like contouring, like lightly contouring. And then I go in with a different bronzer that's matte and kind of just like, you know, make my cheek bones more prominent. But this is really, really good. I love this. It's, ugh. Highly recommend it, you guys. It's so good on, oh, very natural. I have here lipstick from YSL, number three. I almost said five for some reason. But this is like a perfect nude. Uh, I don't know why I stopped wearing it, but I've been reaching out for it more often. It just looks very, very good on. Like, look at that pigment. <sighs> One thing I don't like about this, though, is that my lips get so dry and chappy after like all day of wearing it so that's a downfall but it looks so good on though like that shade is beautiful and then i've been obsessing over these from makeup forever i have on right now 103 it's a liquid lipstick um i've been just loving it so this is 103 it's just like a really nice nude nothing that will wash you out or anything again that's what's on my lips right now it looks more brown on the lips i think but it's beautiful and then the other color that I've been obsessing over is 109 which is a little bit darker has more of like a pinkier mauve undertone right there it is so pretty I love these liquid lipsticks from makeup forever just because they feel really nice and comfortable on the lips it doesn't feel drying my lips doesn't get chapped or anything like that afterwards it's amazing okay another thing is lip balms i've been obsessing over the lip glow from dior i just got this recently i really love it it's so good i wear it like every day um but i still love my cosmetics as well they're very similar um i do think that dior looks a lot better on my lips but I feel that the cosmetics feels slightly better than the Dior. So I love both. I can't pick one, but these are my two favorite lip balms, like ever. Love them. All right, and that is it for beauty products. I, I love all of these items. Now I just wanted to quickly talk about TV shows. You guys know I love watching TV shows and movies and stuff. And I love getting recommendations from you guys. So Tom and I have been enjoying Taboo, which is a new show, I think on Fox or FX. I'm not sure, but I love it. It's so good. I thought it was going to be about witches, but it's not. It's something totally different. But there is some witchcraft in it hence the name taboo but um it's really really good it's a little bit more gory and like more on the mature side so keep that in mind um but it's a really good show the storyline is fantastic the acting is really good it feels like you're watching a movie so i highly highly recommend it also the last episode of grim is this friday i believe oh my gosh you guys let me know if any of you watch grim oh that show is one of my all-time favorites so i'm kind of sad that it's coming to an end but 
I love, love, love Grimm. Um, I haven't been watching any animes lately, but I did watch a movie recently. It's called Kimi no Nawa, I believe. And, or in English, I think it's called Your Name. It is so, so, so good. It's right there with Spirited Away. Like, it's right there. I love it so much. The storyline was so good. Like, I was crying, bawling my eyes out the whole time. And I was like, Charmaine, you need to calm down. But I'm like, oh, like, oh my God. Like, my heart's pounding right now just even thinking about it. But the storyline is so good, you guys. Um, so it's pretty much about, like, uh, star-crossed lovers. Uh, so like they switch bodies, it's like time traveling and there's like a tragedy in it and just the love and the comedy. It's just it's so good. So dang good you guys. So if you haven't seen it yet, you must. It is so good. I have to like watch it again. Seriously, it's it's so 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 good. And another movie that I have been... I, I watched it like twice last month for some reason. It's Me Before You. Or is it You Before Me? I think it's Me Before You. Oh my gosh, that movie makes me cry every time. I love the actors. The acting is so good. And it's at a beautiful place. And it's just... Uh, uh, why? So if any of you have seen that movie, let me know. Did you love it? What do you think? But yeah, I think that's it, you guys. Oh my god, look at me. I'm like getting teary-eyed just thinking about those movies, but I love them so much, you guys. So I think that wraps up this video. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, video requests, feel free to leave it as a comment down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I hope to see you all soon in my next video. Bye!